Hello, in this video I'm going to take you through using the Material Editor in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. I've made a Tutorials folder and a Material Editor folder to be organised. I'm just going to right click here and do a new material, which is going to be like a Master Material. So I'm just going to call this MM for Master Material. We only have to make these once and then from there we make instances. So I'm just going to call this LERP, L-E-R-P for linear interpolate and this is just going to be an example of lerp nodes okay so if i right click in this space i get the whole menu of different things that we can do i'm just going to type in lerp for linear interpolate and it's the bottom one there the quicker way to get this is to hold down l and click so what does lerp do lerp gives you a or b as a result and uh, it comes out of this node here and you plug that in based on this alpha value if the alpha value is 0, we get the result of A. If the alpha value is 1, we get the result of B. If the alpha value is 0 0.5, we get a perfect mix in between. And all other values are mixes, kind of like how a DJ would mix two records. Left side would be A, right side would be B, and this alpha would be the mixer slider. Okay, so let's make this uh, alpha amount, I guess. We can call this uh, mix. So we'll hold down S and click and we get a vector one parameter or a scalar parameter. I'm just gonna call this mix and plug that in. Now by default, the value is zero, which means we're gonna get the result from A when we plug this in, right? And right now there's nothing in there apart from uh, default values of zero and one, which is black and white in terms of uh, visualizing that. So let's plug it in anyway. And you see, because this is zero, we're getting the result of A. Now there's a lot of shininess and things on this um, ball as well. I'm just going to take those away by hard coding some values into here. So I'm just going to say, um, let's see, let's make this one actually. So we'll see it's completely rough. And we'll see it's completely metallic. That'll make it quite dark. Okay. So now all we see is the base color. In fact, because we're totally metallic, we lose the base color. So I'm just gonna put this into emissive color so we can really see it. All right, so mixes at zero. Let's say I make the default value one, we get white. If I make this, the default value 0 0.5, we get gray. It doesn't show up so well here because it's constantly doing a bit of a color correction through this. Uh, so I'm just going to put that at 1 and we'll get a bit more of a true value. Okay, so we've just got these default values going into LERP. Now we could put textures in here or two different colours in here and do the same thing. So let's go for the two colours option. In fact, I'm going to make this a little bit brighter. Let's just leave that to 0. Okay, so this is at 0 0.5. Make it 1. We're getting the result of what's in B. In B by default, we've got the value of one, but let's make this a color, right? So if I hold down three and click, now we've got black as this color. I'm gonna change this to red. Remember to put this one up as well, otherwise we won't see any color, right? Often we change this to red, but we don't change this to have any brightness or value. Okay, this is now red. I'm gonna plug that into B, and what will happen is we'll get red because we've got this, with a value of one, which means we get whatever, whatever's in B. And if we do 0 0.5, we're getting half of what's in A, which is currently zero, black. And we're getting half of what this color is. Let's just duplicate this by Control-C, Control-V. And let's make this um, yellow. Okay. I'm just gonna put yellow into A. And now we'll start to get a color between yellow and red so if we do zero we get yellow and we do one we get red and we get colors in between okay so this is what we'll use to control these values because into emissive color these are just hard coded values of one into metallic and roughness just to make it kind of look like a pure color and let's try that um as an instance so I'll save this and anything that's a parameter uh, we have control to change now these are not parameters right how you can tell the parameters is they'll turn green. So if I right click on this and do convert to parameter, in fact, these are vector four, so they don't turn green, but they do have this little caption. So I tell a lie, it's only these 
uh, scalar parameters that are green when they uh, when they're placed actually so if I do one and place they're all green the fact that they're parameters it will say um, param here um, or you, it will have a name okay so just be mindful of that so we'll just call this color two and let's convert that to a parameter and call it color one okay so you will see that it actually says param and that means it's exposed see this one doesn't say it so it means it's just within the graph itself and we don't we don't get to change this value until we convert to parameter such as right click and convert to parameter all right save that and come out and then right click on this and do create material instance we don't use this uh, in the scene we use our material instances okay let's call this test one i'm going to bring in a sphere and drag my mi test one onto that all right you can see it's an emissive material because we are channeling it into emissive that's perfectly fine for this test you can do it however you want with textures and whatever so we've got our exposed parameters we've got our mix value you can see i can change it between both in fact i can even go the other direction and kind of twist this past where it's supposed to be and i'm getting all sorts of weird colors coming from it because you should only really stay within zero to one okay but this slider is letting us go way past it i'll show you how to fix that okay color one color two we can change these so i can change this to blue and change this to say purple so now if i go zero we'll get blue and one we'll get that's kind of pink purple color and we can go in between like so Okay, so I'm just going to save that and go back into the master material to make a little change. Now I do want this mix to stay within 0 to 1. So you can see here I've got slider minimum, slider maximum. Just now they're at 0, which means I can do anything, right? It wouldn't mean that it stays at 0. It means that uh, it means I've got free control of the value. But if I put a value in here, okay, and save it, now this slider will only stay within 0 to 1, which means it stays within uh, these two colors, right? So that's kind of handy for getting little color variations of something. So I can duplicate this, Alt and drag, duplicate this one, Control D in Unreal Engine 5, Control W in Unreal Engine 4. Okay, and I can shift this a bit. Remember, I'm still on the first material, so going to click that and then change it right and that's pretty useful right so let's have another look at something else um, just to see how you can extend on this now I'm just uh, it's asking me to save the map I won't worry about saving the map just now so I'll just click on these and save those so that's basically LERP right hopefully you understand it that it can take two values or two textures and mix them. So on the note of textures, let's do that. Let's change these for textures. I'm just going to delete these completely, right? And I do need two textures. So let's open Photoshop and let's make something. I might have something in the project already, but I think it makes sense to make something. Okay, it's a nice letter A. And let's just save that and do letter B. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I use here. This one looks fun. Right, that should do it. I'm just going to open Photoshop just in case I have to fix those for any reason. And say, let's save that so far. So we've just reset this layer up to 0 and 1. We still have the ability to mix because it will just be 0 and 1, black and white, that we have control of. And it's hard coded. Hard coded because we don't have any control. There's no more parameters here. So we need to make two or two texture parameters. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. Let's just import those, um, those images. So this one, and I can see the other one didn't want to open because of the file type, but I should be able to do this with uh, Photoshop here. And then I'll just do export PNG. 
and desktop, I call this A. Okay, let's import that. Okay, and you can see it's got alpha in there. I can see the way it's done this. So it's got an alpha channel. Um, I'll just bear that in mind. Uh, this one is, uh, has it also got, it's also got an alpha channel. It just shows up a bit better for some reason. Let's go back to this one. And now I'm just gonna drag these in. So we've got A and B. This has still got all the edge padding to it. I'm just going to multiply the alpha with the color just to see if I can fix. Yeah, so that fixes that. Okay, we've fixed it inside the material just by multiplying the alpha with it. This one seems fine, but I'll do the same here just to make sure. We're doing the same thing. Okay, so we get A and B. Then we plug A into there and B into there. And then we save and put our test there. Let's get rid of these. So we can see both A and B. So we're doing uh, material one here. And it's because of this value. If I do zero, we only see A. If I do one, we see B. 0 0.5, we see both. Right? It's kind of handy for mixing two textures and using the same material or a copy of the material and you want them to be slightly different then just make a copy of the material and do a different value okay so that's the nature of your lerp nodes and that's going to be handy for uh, various things later um, mixing between two values and just getting different results within uh, the material instances Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it useful. I'll do a, a few more soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.